Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have been missing for a while as well. So today I'll be doing another topic that you guys request the most, which is Form 4 Chapter 4. I'll be doing one of the subtopic today, which is known as carbohydrate. So carbohydrate is a very interesting subtopic. Um, we have to learn about sugar. We have to learn about the example of each of the sugar type. So let's get started. When you talk about carbohydrate, right, we have to know about the example of carbohydrate. Now, when we talk about Example of carbohydrate, I believe that most of you guys will think of um, rice, porridge, potato. But do you guys actually know that fruits are also known as carbohydrate? So it's not a good idea that you replace your main meal with fruits if you're on diet because some of the fruits contain more sugar compared to rice as well. So it's not a very smart idea. Like if you want to reduce your body weight so you can reduce intake of fruits that contains high sugar level, for example, watermelon or even grape, you can replace with um green apples or you can replace with uh, I, I don't think anyone eat lemon as a fruit la, but lemon it contains lesser sugar la, if you compare to watermelon and grape okay now uh, before we learn about the type of sugar we have to learn about things called element actually we have three different type of element called major element other element and trace element the reason that we don't learn it again is because that maybe the, the government thing that is not very important la, so they just give you element uh, we have to learn, learn about things called major element. Why? Because most of the food contains of major element, which is C-H-O-N. Remember? C-H-O-N. I call it as the chan element. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen. I call it as the main element. Most of the food contains of C-H-O, for example, carbohydrate. When you consume too much of carbohydrate, it will convert into fat, right? So fat itself also contains of CHO as well. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. In exam, you are not supposed to write CHO. You have to write carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Now, the reason why we have to eat carbohydrate is because that we have to provide energy to our body, right? Now, energy-wise is one, but when you consume too much, it becomes fat, right? So you have to consume the correct amount of carbohydrate. Besides that, for human, we can also store it as a, like a power bank. So this power bank stores energy when you are in hunger, when you have no food to eat, the power bank in your body, which is glycogen, it can convert back to glucose. And for plant-wise, it's to provide support. Why carbohydrate provide support to plant? Because plant, they have cell wall, right? Cell wall, they are made of cellulose. So cellulose is a type of sugar. So sugar, we have three types, monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides. We're going to start from mono first. What does mono mean? Obviously, mono means one. What does di mean? Di means two. What does poly? Poly means a lot. Uh, many, many, many is called a lot. What does saccharides mean? Saccharides means sugar. So we have one sugar for monosaccharides, two sugar for disaccharides, and many, many sugars for polysaccharides. For mono and disaccharides, right, they have a similar characteristic where imagine your house got sugar, right? So sugar is supposed to taste sweet, right? So they, both of them, they taste sweet. And you put it into water, right? They are soluble in water. They can dissolve in water and they are crystalline. What does crystalline mean? Crystalline, it means that the sugar shape that you see is in a crystal shape. We call it as crystalline. So both of these two things, they have a similar characteristic. But for monosaccharides, since there's only one example, the simplest molecule, we call it as monomer. Okay, monomer, also known as basic you need basic unit is called as monomer. So the smallest unit is called as monomer. So for carbohydrate monomers, it's known as monosaccharides. If you want to write glucose, I mean also correct, but you can write monosaccharides as overall answer, just write monosaccharides. It's called as monomer, basic unit, the smallest molecule. Okay, now disaccharide, I've explained the characteristic, right? So for polysaccharides, they have opposite characteristic. Opposite char characteristic means what? Number one, they are not sweet. Number two, they are not soluble in water. Number three, they are non-crystalline because they are usually storage. Style. So that's why I cannot see they are in what shape. Okay. Now, since polysaccharides, they have many, many, many. And monosaccharides mean, means one, right? We call this as monomer. So for polysaccharides, it is known as a polymer. Polymer means a lot. We call it as polymer. Okay. Um, before reading this point, right, we have to go through a thing called process. Okay, then you, you can go back to this hydrolysis. You can go back to what, why, why do they actually use enzymes or diluted hydrochloric acid? Now, mono becomes di, di can become poly. Okay, it means one plus one equals to two, two plus two plus two, it becomes to poly. It means that they can break down from poly to di, di to monosaccharides, right? It makes sense, right? 1 plus 1 equals to 2, 
and then it can becomes many many right it means they can reverse back so if you want to reverse back then you can use enzymes or you can use diluted hydrochloric acid so poly to dye you can use these two dye to mono right you can also use enzyme you can also use diluted hydrochloric acid now how do they actually form before we learn forming we have to learn the example each of the category here they have three examples so you can see we have glucose fructose galactose lactose maltose sucrose glycogen starch and cellulose so they have three different examples we're going to start from monosaccharides so monosaccharides they are sweet right so glucose we have this thing called glucose powder i don't know whether you guys drink before or not it is in a, it's a container like when you were younger your parents will put it into a water and ask you to drink it and that, that is actually glucose powder when you grow older, you don't drink that anymore because you have been drinking a lot of bubble tea. So you don't need extra glucose. You just consume your glucose from food as well. You just don't, don't consume too much because it's not healthy to drink too much of bubble tea, right? Next, we have fructose. So fructose, they refers to the sugar from honey. If you have honey at home, you can look at the labeling at the back. They will write fructose. If there is no fructose, it means that your honey is <laughs> not very real, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm not saying that it's fake, but um, honey is not very real, okay? And then we have galactose. Galactose is a type of milk carbohydrate. At the back of the container of your milk also contains of galactose. They must have galactose, okay? Confirm got one, okay? So this is monosaccharides. Disaccharides, we have this lactose as well. They are also milk. So what is the difference between lactose and galactose? Uh, because galactose is monosaccharides. Mono means what? One, right? Lactose, they are under disaccharides. What does disaccharide mean? It means two. So they have two sugar. Um, you guys heard of a thing called lactose intolerance. Lactose intolerance is a disease where, not, not a disease, it's just a complication uh, where people cannot digest the milk carbohydrate in the body. So what do they, what are the symptoms do they have? They will vomit or they will get diarrhea. They don't die because of lactose intolerance. If you have lactose intolerance, right, you can try to drink lactose-free milk. It tastes the same, but slightly expensive by one or two ringgit. Uh, at least it can reduce you from having symptoms of lactose intolerance. If you really like cheese, if you really like um, uh, things related to dairy products, you can try to go to the pharmacist or to your doctor to get a medication to stop you from having lactose intolerance. It means when you eat the food, before you eat the cheese, whatever, just take some lactose intolerance pill, then you have no symptoms, okay? So don't die. You will not, you will not die because of lactose intolerance. So you have to take note lah, okay, just get diarrhea and vomiting. That is lactose intolerance. Because it's a bit sad that you have lactose intolerance. Imagine you have to go to Pizza Hut to order a pizza without cheese. Is it sad? Very sad, guys. I mean, unless you don't like cheese, okay, maybe it's good for you. I'm not too sure. Next, we have maltose. Maltose are from malt, which is a wheat, W-H-E-A-T, a wheat, which is the, the rice dose is called malt, lah, okay. And then sucrose, they are from sugar cane. Actually, sugar cane is, is a fruit that contains high sugar level. You shouldn't drink that much also if your blood sugar level always remains high because it will lead you to have diabetes mellitus, with type 2 diabetes mellitus. Okay, next one, we have polysaccharides. We have three examples as well. We have glycogen. What is glycogen? Glycogen is a storage of glucose that can be found in animal cells. Starch is a storage of glucose that can be found in plant cells. So this glycogen and we have starch. I will teach you how to differentiate the both of them later on. And then cellulose is the mixed cell wall. In exam, what do they ask you? They will ask you to categorize based on the diagram over here. Now, how do we categorize? Okay, we start from starch first. Huh? Starch is a cylindrical shape, right? Remember, starch, they are from plant. So what do you have to think of plant? Just remember as rice. You know, rice is in the cylindrical shape as well. So cylindrical shape, Remember rice? Remember starch. So starch is plants out. Okay, next one. The one that looks like a spider web. The one that looks like a spider web, this is glycogen. It can be found in human body. It's like a power bank, as I mentioned just now. When you have two liter glucose in your body, they will convert glycogen to glucose. Or when you finish up your glycogen, they will start to use your fat. So you, you don't re usually die so fast. Now, okay. If you have more fats in your body and you're being thrown to desert island, maybe you are the last one to die. I'm not saying that it's a good thing because it's not healthy as well, but you will be the last one to die when zombie apocalypse, okay? Because you have a lot of energy storage in your body. And then do we have cellulose? Cellulose is the last choice that you have. It's line or one line, one line, one line, okay? This is how it looks like. If you zoom in and see the diagram, right? Okay, this is the diagram that you can see. This is the diagram, right? If you zoom in to see this diagram, you can actually see they have 
a hexagon shape. All of them have hexagon shape. So whenever you see a hexagon, it must be a carbohydrate. Okay, remember hexagon, it is a carbohydrate. Okay, can? Now, since we have so many examples here, I have students who, who ask me, teacher, how to remember all so many examples? Okay, let me teach you a way to remember. Okay, this is the way that you can use. Remember the first initial, which is, you can see, GFG, right? LMS, right? GSC, right? Now, how do you want to remember? Remember, girlfriend, gorgeous. Girlfriend, gorgeous means your girlfriend very pretty. Girlfriend, gorgeous. Let's make, we all very pure. We all make sushi. We don't make whatever thing that you are thinking right now, okay? Let's make sushi. Okay, or soup also can lah. Uh, if you're thinking something else, it's your choice, okay? Let's make sushi. And then, girl say can. Girls say can. Girlfriend, gorgeous. Let's make sushi. Girl say can. Uh, please don't think something else because if you think as something else, girl say can, then it's a bit uh, underage for you to know, lah, okay? So, girlfriend, gorgeous. Let's make sushi. Girl, girl say can. And of course, I have seen who asked the teacher so many G or how do I remember so many G here? Remember, all monosaccharides and disaccharides ends with coals, glucose, galactose. But for this G here, there is no coast, it's glycogen, right? And then another question, teacher got two S or how to remember, or, or same thing. Monosaccharides and disaccharides, they end with coast. So you have sucrose, but you look at this S, right? There is no coast, it's a starch. So it's quite easy to remember. Glucose, fructose, galactose, lactose, maltose, sucrose, glycogen, starch, and cellulose. If you don't understand or don't remember the example, it's very hard for you to go to the next part, which is hydrolysis and condensation. Okay, what is the meaning of condensation? Remember, condensation means combine. It's called condensation. What does hydrolysis mean? Hydrolysis means breakdown. Hydro means water. Everybody should know this word. Lysis means breakdown. So breakdown with the presence of water, needed water. Can you see? Condensation, they will remove water. It's a releasing of water. Remember, uh, hydrolysis, you break down with the presence of water, hydrolysis. Condensation means you remove the water, release water molecule. What you're going to form right now, you have to form disaccharide. Just now I mentioned, right? Disaccharide means what? Disaccharide means two. If we want to form two, obviously it must be one plus one equals to two. Uh, cannot be two plus zero equals to two plus water. Uh, it must be one plus one, right? So remember, what is one plus one? One, everything here, one plus one equals to two plus water. Everything, one plus one equals to two plus water. This is condensation. If you remember condensation, you will know what is hydrolysis, okay? One plus one equals to two plus water. So just now we remember, right? What is the one do we have? We have GFG, girlfriend, gorgeous, right? Glucose, fructose, and galactose. Glucose, fructose, galactose, right? Everything here starts from glucose, okay? Glucose, everything starts from glucose. And then obviously the next one should be the three things, glucose, fructose, galactose, right? Now the first one, we have galactose. Glucose combines with galactose, they will form lactose plus water. Uh, this one makes sense, right? Because they have lactose here and lactose here. One sugar plus one sugar equals to two sugar. Everything, they will form water at the back. One plus one equals to two plus water, right? Start with glucose, and with water for condensation. Next one, we have glucose plus glucose that forms into maltose. In form two or form three, you learned before, right? In your mouth, we have um, a salivary amylase. They will break down starch into maltose, right? And then maltose, they will break down into glucose and glucose, right? In your small intestine. So this one, remember GGM, okay? GGM, glucose, glucose, maltose, GGM. Next one, we have glucose, fructose, sucrose. How to remember glucose, fructose, sucrose? I believe everyone here learned at max, right? Because if you don't learn at max, I don't think you will learn biology also, right? So how to remember glucose, fructose, sucrose? Remember GFX. In MX, you learn GFX, right? The function, remember learn function in MX, GFX, right? I don't know whether you bracket the X or you bracket the F. I'm not too sure, but if you don't know, it's okay. You can watch Tan Yin Yu MX um, for you to learn more MX, okay? So it's G, F, G. Glucose, fructose, sucrose function. So this is how you remember condensation. The first one, you have one plus one equals to two plus water. 
You can also use uh, the other way around, two plus photo equals to one plus one. Just now we learn, right? Girlfriend, gorgeous, lightning, sushi, girl, say, can, right? Glucose plus galactose, it forms lactose plus water. Glucose plus glucose, it will form maltose plus water. Glucose plus fructose, it will form sucrose plus water. If you don't remember this, it's very hard for you to understand or for you to remember when you learn in enzymes or even digestive system for chapter nine. So this one, super important, guys. Okay, now, we have this combination, right? A combination means what? You must have a bond. It's like you and your boyfriend. How do you have a thing that, you know, to know that both of you are couple? Of course, whole hang, right? Whole hang is the bond that you have in order to know that you're a couple. I mean, if it's not, then, okay, maybe it's another type of relationship. I don't know, lah, okay? So, this one plus one equals to two, right? They must have a bond in the middle. This bond here, known as glycosidic bond. Glycosidic bond. So, you can see one plus one. Yeah, what I'm writing. One plus one equals to two plus water, but there's no water here. So it's two, maltose. Glucose by glucose, it becomes maltose, right? So many, many maltose together, they will form starch. So you can see mono can become di, di can become polysaccharides. Poly can become di, di can also become monosaccharides. How? By using enzymes or by using diluted hydrochloric acid. So they have two ways. This is how we actually learn carbohydrate. And there will be an experiment for you to test a thing called reducing sugar. What is reducing sugar? Reducing sugar, we have five examples. All monosaccharides and disaccharides besides sucrose are known as a mono, uh, known as a reducing sugar. Glucose, fructose, galactose is under monosaccharide tract. Lactose and maltose, they are under disaccharide tract besides sucrose. So it's girlfriend gorgeous. Let's make, there's no S. Huh? So it's five examples of reducing sugar. What is a thing called reducing sugar. They are able to reduce copper 2 to copper 1 ion. Reducing sugar, you have to use a test called magnetic solution, magnetic test, which is copper 2 sulfate. Copper 2 sulfate is blue in color. It's because there are presence of copper 2 ion. So copper 2, they can hydrolyze, or not hydrolyze, they can convert into copper 1. We call this as reducing sugar. They can reduce from copper 2 to copper 1. Reducing sugar, we can try copper 2 to copper 1. If it's a sucrose, can you make the reducing sugar? Uh, can you make it into reducing sugar? The answer is yes. You can make sucrose as a reducing sugar. How? You have to add with enzyme first. Sucrose break down into what? Break down into glucose and fructose, right? So glucose and fructose, they are reducing sugar. So your solution can also turn into break rate precipitate. If you want to use sucrose, uh, it, might, it, it will be a key question. Uh, it's not very key but also, uh, but you have to know that uh, it is possible whenever you hydrolyze it. So this is reducing sugar. Remember, reducing sugar means they are able to reduce copper 2 to copper 1. Copper 2 is blue, copper 1 is big color. The next one, we have iodine test. Iodine test is to test the presence of starch or the original color of iodine test is brownish, yellowish color. And the result will be blue, black color. Uh, it's an experiment that you have to use your own saliva. It is a, it's a fun experiment. You will get it to do it in the school. So today, we will stop here for carbohydrate. Any question, you can comment below. So if it's not, then I will see you guys next week or next week, or next week, next time. Bye guys. Hope you guys enjoy my video. So I'll see you guys next time then. Bye guys. Bye.